Hi guys, this is FD for Sigpark.tv once more back with another video and today we are going to look at one project that is featured in our 2K to 100K challenge and we are going to apply our DYOR risk evaluation to establish whether this project is worthy of our time and resources and then also decide whether we should actually jump in depending on the results we get. So one of these projects we are going to be looking at today is Sunday Swap, Sunday Swap Dex, which is a Dex we have covered before in a few videos in the recent past. So what is it? We last covered Sunday Swap some time in March this year, 2022. And since that time, a few things have changed, including the dislodging of Sunday Swap Dex in terms of leading on the TVO front for total value load. Now it's sitting at position number three it's behind Swing Riders, Main Swap, and then you have Sunday Swap in terms of total value load in the Cardano blockchain. Sunday Swap is a native scalable decentralized exchange automated liquidity provision protocol on the Cardano blockchain. How does it work? Well, the SundaySwap uses what it refers to as the scooper model, automated market maker order book. Like a pure order book, market participants can place good until cancelled orders onto the blockchain. These don't require interacting with any pre-existing entities and so don't suffer from the UTX war or unspent transaction output contention problems in other protocol designs. To facilitate swaps, Sunday Swap uses a Sunday Swap pool factory token that, in conjunction with a minting policy, ensures that asset pairs are unique. Now to the tokenomics, ticker symbol Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-E, maximum tokens available is 2 billion, circulating supply cannot be verified we checked both coin market cap and coin gecko we could not verify that we even went to tap tools which is another cardano infrastructure project there was no joy there so it would be very nice for the sunday team to actually partake in the updating of their circulating supply on the most used and most common platforms like coin market cap and coin gecko if someone from the sunday team is listening or if you've got a direct line to their team please let them know and comment down below and update us as and when that is been done. So token allocation, we had 25% allocated to the Sunday team, 5% to future hires, 55% to the public, 5% of which was distributed via initial stake offering across five epochs, 13% to investors and 2% to advisors. So in total, insiders consist of investors, advisors, future hires and the team, and it comes up to 45%. Yet 35, we have our minimum threshold at 25%. We then stretch it to 30%. Anything above that, you need some strong extenuating circumstances or factors that might persuade us to invest in such a project because it's geared towards project insiders, not the wider community. Anyway, the key features of the Sunday Dex are as follows. You've got providing liquidity, swapping and trading, yield farming, compatible with wallets, at least four Cardano wallets. Now I think it's a lot more. Staking potential, governance privileges to all Sunday Swap token holders. I think this is still in progress. I haven't seen any evidence that it's actually been launched. In fact, the Sunday team are not doing that much in terms of communicating with the wider community. I suppose they are busy building, but from time to time, you do want someone to come out and say, guys, we are still here. I think that is always an important thing to do to your community. You don't want people to forget about you. You never know. Sunday Decentralized Autonomous Organization or Sunday DAO via Discord to gauge the nature of future proposals when the governance feature is finally implemented. I believe this might be in progress but again due to less communication i don't tend to visit the sunday swap discord server now to total value log i mentioned or stated earlier in the video currently sunday swap has got 25 million this is a massive drop from an all-time high of around 115 million earlier in the year when sunday swap was the top dog of the cardano dexes now it's sitting in third with only 25 million dollars locked in total value feature potential we are still awaiting the delivery and implementation of the governance mechanism. I believe this is still in progress. Now we go on to social media presence. You know, back in March, Sunday Swap had about 104,000 members as part of his Discord community. Now I believe that is down by around 10K to 94k discord members now usually these things are a telltale sign that all is not rosy in the garden of eden what the sunday team is doing about that no one knows but it needs to be addressed sooner or later if this reduction in community members on his discords is something linked to past mistakes well here's another opportunity to put things right keep communicating to your community there is nothing more they can do regarding past mistakes but they have an opportunity to put things right at this moment in time what they are going to do going forward is what will define 
them as a project and time will be the judge of that social media via twitter we are currently sitting at 290,500 twitter followers that's down from 295,000 followers back in around january february this year so that's again a decrease so there must be something going on that some of these community members tweeting some of these platforms are responding to the sunday team need to take that on board it's not about this year or the first few months of this year it's about the long game if i win that team i'll be mixing it up with our marketing team to make sure people are out there you know doing their community service and communicating with the community to make sure instead of losing you actually gain more users it's quite important to do that and on their website no updates either the media page there was one update in quite a few months i think one update in about three or four months don't think that is helpful but look we don't know what's going on within the team so we'll give them the benefit of the doubt and think and just say things are still okay i hope so coming back to the team earlier in the year there was a team of nine members and two advisors and now there are 10 team members two advisors so there is a plus one in terms of the team i've also noted that some of the original team members left and they've had some new members joined so there is certainly something going on within that team obviously it won't be played in public but there is something going on that maybe over time we'll know a lot more partnerships it's ongoing i think there are more partnerships now when we first looked at this project in sunday swap there were approximately three partnerships that were widely reported there were more but those three were widely reported so you had your mail scotty world mobile token and so forth but i believe there have been more partnerships that came on board in terms of security sunday swap was indeed audited for security by runtime verification all security issues raised were subsequently addressed prior to launch no new security concerns so far but with the upcoming Russell at fork expect new smart contract audits and all smart contracts will not be able to utilize the benefits of the new upcoming upgrades so that's just something to watch out for and it's also important to look out for those new audit results to see whether if there are any issues those issues have been subsequently resolved and so forth it's quite important to keep yourself updated with these developments on decentralization of course this is still a dex which means it is decentralized in addition it is built on cardano which is itself decentralized within reason of course you can also claim that sunday swap is reasonably decentralized and does not require permission from a third party to utilize the various features of the sunday swap dex including token swaps and liquidity provision we've used it a few times we know you don't need permission so it is reasonably decentralized as well on interoperability so so far, the Sunday Swap Dex caters for projects on the Cardano blockchain. Therefore, plenty of scope to broaden its scope in terms of uh, interoperability. In addition, the fact that Cardano itself is designed for interoperability makes this Dex a potential cross-chain Dex in the near future. Fingers crossed. We think some of these updates coming up will actually make Cardano a cross-chain network. We we'll wait to see what's coming up. And because they've got an active development team, it appears that some of these things will happen sooner or later. What's the space? In terms of scaling, everyone within Cardano communities are waiting their arrival of the Vassal at four which will be implemented soon and we have also been told that is going to deliver on some of the first melting scaling alongside hydra to date the sunday swap decks appear to be handling traffic quite well with no reports of extended delays to transaction finality which takes us to the final segment of this video the upcoming upgrade i know right at the beginning when sunday swap launched which i think created some of the issues that left a sour taste within the community sunday swap suffered some massive scaling issues it could not deal with the traffic it wasn't sunday swap's fault it was just the cardano blockchain was not ready for such volume so most people were left disgruntled and i also believe some people never came back they left and never came back and there was also a small case of someone front running i don't know where that got to there was something about retrieving and then making amends and so forth I never followed that through. So it's things like that that um, people will remember. They won't remember all the great work the team is doing and the fact that Sunday Swap was the first DEX of any node. I know there was another one, but the Sunday Swap was the first DEX of some nodes to launch on the Cardano blockchain. So you've got to give them respect for that. And some of the updates coming through, great. Let's jump into some of them right now. So here are some of the updates from the Sunday Swap team in preparation of the upcoming and once again delayed Vassal Art for was delayed only yesterday day being the 29th of july 2022 was delayed yesterday everyone was looking forward to the vassal art for being announced or getting an implementation date or a date of some sort yesterday when the cardano 360 i believe took place i just told yeah it's been delayed for a few weeks but then again we 
What's a few weeks? If this thing is going to be going on forever, what's a few weeks? It's nothing. We just need to be more patient. These things take time and technology is complicated. And the fact that this is going to be one of the biggest updates to the Cardano blockchain, the Vassal Ad Fork, it's probably worth the wait and the patience. Fingers crossed. So how will the Vassal Ad Fork affect Sunday's work? Well, on-chain contracts, the most security-sensitive area of the DAP, uh, on-chain contracts are unaffected. Now for some examples of off-chain systems that have needed updating, the Sunday Swap team have had to update Omega, the Go client library for reading from OMIOS, I'm sure I'm pronouncing this right, from OMIOS to recognize the newly added fields. Update transaction construction to create valid post vassal transactions without impacting the script compilation and changing the script hashes. Update the scooper software to work around a performance degradation in the Cardano node around peering and spend transaction outputs or UTXOs. Conduct a general review of all code related to statistics, rollup, and yield farming to identify places where current assumptions might now be violated and thoroughly test all of these changes. Additionally, while the currently deployed contracts can take advantage of the savings and scalability improvement, the team were already working on a new version of the smart contracts. It is too early stage, but this work includes some dramatic improvements and new ideas the team has identified since launch and is designed to take full advantage of the vassal hard for features once they are finished and implemented fully, audited, and released. More details on that to follow. Once upgrades are further along in the development cycle, the team has promised to share more details about those upgrades. Okay, so technically, the Sunday team is just as good as anyone out there, but there is a hint that maybe, just maybe, execution or implementation of some of the ideas isn't always the best way forward. I sincerely hope that a lot of learning has taken place since their launch earlier in the year, which I believe it has, because things have been calmer. Let's look at some of the details or our risk evaluation results. This is where we apply the 13 elements and the 13 elements as follows. Decentralization, how decentralized is the network. Security, how secure is the network? Has it been compromised? Has it been audited by a third party? Then we look at scaling. Does the network scale or does the DAP scale or does the project scale? We then look at interoperability. Does the project work across its own boundaries? Then we consider the team's availability. Are they accessible via social media and so forth? Then we consider social media via Twitter. How many Twitter followers do they have? Social media via Discord. How many Discord members do they have? Then we look at use cases. Are there any real world use cases for this project? Is the project trying to resolve or solve real world problems? Then we consider initial tokens issued the project launch. Then we consider the maximum tokens available as well as the tokens in circulation. And then finally, we consider the amount of tokens allocated to project insiders. Let's go and share with you the scores we've allocated to SunSwap and review the results. On decentralization, 7.5 points out of 10. On security, 7.5 points out of 10. On scaling, 7.5 points out of 10. On interoperability, 10 points out of 10 because the Cardano blockchain is designed for interoperability. We issue maximum points. On project team, it's 5 points out of 10. Social media via Twitter, 7.5 points out of 10. Social media via Discord, 7.5 points out of 10. Age of the project is still relatively new. It's 2.5 points out of 10. Use cases, 5 points out of 10. Tokens initially issued at Genesis, 2.5 points out of 10. Total tokens in circulation, 2.5 points out of 10. Maximum tokens available, 5 points out of 10. Inside the token allocation, 2.5 points out of 10. Why? Because it's about 43 or 45%, which is quite high. Do you guys agree with our scores comment down below and let us know whilst you're down there guys don't forget to click like and subscribe as well as smash that notification bell whilst you're at it as well please note that this is not financial advice if you require financial advice approach someone who's trying to give you financial advice the total score then for Sunday Swap is 72.5 out of 130. How did we get to 130? Well, we multiply the maximum point available, which is 10, multiplied by the 13 elements, we get our 130. Then we apply the predefined risk levels, the lowest risk or the worst risk level or the highest risk level being no go, which is 0 to 64 points out of 130, followed by 65 to 89 out of 130, we call that could go to 0. Then you have the potential category, which is 90 to 1. 109 out of 130 and then finally 110 to 130 out of 130 we call it go for it. so sunday swap finds itself within the could go to zero category once again guys it's in good company you go to your ethereum your cosmos your avalanche within that category so sunday swap is in good company it's got potential even though it's not within the potential category and it is relatively 
less riskier than some of the projects that will fall below that category. That is to say they will fall within the no-go category. What do you guys think? Do you agree with our evaluation? Comment down below and let us know. Let's go to some final remarks as far as SandySwap is concerned. As you can see from the GYO risk evaluation results, the SandySwap is not any riskier than projects like Ethereum, Cosmos, MinSwap, and so forth. So we opened our position as part of our 2K to 100K challenge recently, and we shared our move on Twitter. If you follow us on Twitter, you will have noticed that. Just like MinSwap, I believe this DEX will do well going forward, and some of its woes or problems will actually contribute to its success and lesson learned are reflected upon, followed by implementation of corrective action. Question for you guys now, if you're still watching, are you invested in SandySwap? Let us know down below. Have you experienced any issues since you joined the SandySwap community while you were interacting with the SandySwap DEX? Let us know down below as well. What are your thoughts regarding the results of our DYO our risk evaluation results we have just shared with you? Let us know down below if you've got any qualms or if you've got alternative scores that you will give to the SandySwap DEX. Do you agree with the results or you want to change something? And if you are, what will you change? If anything, please comment down below and let us know. Until next time, guys, this is FD for Safe TV signing. Bye for now.